preceding concert was played by Nancy Witt, daughter of Pauline and Marv Bremer. And this was all played by ear. And she's from Iowa. And the date is August 16th, 1990. To record. You got them? Oh, we wondered if you had them. Oh, yeah. This is um, September 16th, 1990. And this is Mother at Jackie's house. And we just had a wonderful, delicious dinner. And we thought of you and wish you could have been here. Oh. Um, we're in Jackie's bedroom, Dad and I. But there's no monkey business. We're just recording. And um, um, the others are in the other room uh, watching the Bears and the Green Bay Packers. And, of course, you know who the Bear fan is, and that's Larry. And Shawn Michael is sleeping. The dishes are done. And um, we want to send a message to you. We pray for you daily and wish you the very best and a wonderful, happy, successful future with your children and hope all goes well. And so I'm going to turn this over to Dad now. Hi, Dennis. This is Dad speaking, and hope that this finds you well and happy and contented. And uh, we're having a wonderful time here at Jackie's and Larry's. And uh, it's a nice day. The sun is shining. And uh, we hope that you're having some nice weather now. And uh, we hope things go very well so that uh, we may be able to see you in the near future. And we hope and pray that everything works out to good advantage and all according to the Lord's will. We love you, and uh, goodbye for this time for me. Dad has gone to in the other room to find someone to talk next. So don't go away. Hang in there. Far? Yeah. See? Okay. Oh. okay. That's far enough away. Oh. Okay. Hi, Dennis. This is Pat. We've been having a nice day today. We came to Jackie's and had a dinner for Robin's and my birthday. I suppose Mom and Dad told you. Uh, some of the highlights of the meal that I enjoyed were Jackie's spare ribs, uh, boneless beef ribs, and uh, I brought the hash brown potatoes, and uh, Robin's apple pie tasted real good. I uh, wish you could have been here, hoping that you'll be able to come soon and visit, and not only for a visit, but to stay. That remains to be seen, but we would enjoy having you among us again. You want to stop it? Yeah. Well, Dennis, I'll sign off now. Just hang in there. We're all pulling for you and praying for you. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon. Hi, Dennis. It's Jackie, the hostess of the get-together today. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I love your children, and I've been praying for you, and I just know in my heart that whatever is meant to be, that God will cause it to be. Well, I've been calling Grandma just to not even talk to her, just just to find out about you. And, uh, we'll end up talk to her too, but we're all just, I think we've just all have you on our minds, and I want you to know that you have all of our support behind you. We're, we're thinking of you so much and, and just want the best and we're really looking forward to seeing you again and hope you can come home in October. Well, I think I talk a lot better on the telephone than I do to a tape recorder. I feel like I'm talking to an answering machine. But I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm fine and I recovered quite well from 
caring and delivering those two beautiful girls. And uh, we're all fine here. Sean Michael's growing so tall. The girls are getting fat, and Mommy and Daddy are very busy. But I'm glad this is an opportunity for us to to tell you hi and that we're thinking of you and pulling for you since we don't always you know, get an opportunity to speak to you in person. But this is from the Stanley family. We love you, and we have you on your minds. Hope to see you very soon. Hello, Dennis. This is Mark and the family, live from La Crosse. Say hi, you know. Hi. Robin. Hi, Dennis. Hi, kids. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Cassie. Or Elena. <laughs> Why? Don't let her hear that, Dennis. Whatever you do, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Things are going pretty good here in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm still looking around for a different work right now. Uh, I'm not real serious about moving too soon. Uh, Robin's still working at dietetic service. Uh, she got an outstanding for evaluation and got a nice bonus check for that. Uh, Robin's taking the girls to Chicago on the 21st, uh, Michelle and Janelle. And uh, I believe Mom's going and Jackie and the babies. Um, let's see. A weekend away from the guys, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work around in the house. Uh, I started a project out in front of the house. Uh, I, I'm building a deck right now, and I need to screen it in. Um, the house needs painting, of course. There's always something to do. I'm, I'm sure you know what it's like owning, being a homeowner. Um, right now, the weather here just completely turned around. Here it is uh, in September now. It was pretty hot for the first week, but now the second week it turned right around and got pretty cool. Down in the 40s at night, and then uh, only up to 60, 70 during the day. I'm looking forward to the cooler weather, though. So is Robin, too. She's uh, about six months along now. Um, we're going to have the baby. Christmas Day is the due date, but you never know. It might be a week before or a week after. Uh, we have two names picked. Uh, we're, we know that it's going to be a girl. I better, put, better tell you that. Um, we're going to name her Danielle. Patrice or Natalie Yvonne. 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 Um, we'll have to see what she looks like. We'll have to see if she looks like a Natalie or a Danielle before we decide, I guess. We tried flipping a coin to pick a name, but that just isn't going to work, I don't think. So we're going to wait till she's born. Can you girls think of anything to, to add? Okay. Just hope everything's going good for you there. We think of you. Everything will go in your favor. Keep your chin up. God doesn't put any more burdens on you than you can handle. We love you very much. Good morning, Dennis. This is September uh, 18th, Tuesday morning, another big day for you. I overslept this morning, but we'll add a few words. Forgot to tell you that um, Robin has done very, very good work and uh, has received a $600 bonus. So we're real happy for her. And also, we went to see Brad last Friday night at his pad. He has a different apartment, and uh, he's sharing it with another guy so they can um, pay, divide the expenses. And he had a gal there with him, and they were getting their evening meal. 
and we took a bag of supplies, and he was so glad we brought him a bag of flour because he said he just used the last. He was about to fry some fish, and they were going to dine together. Her name was Wendy, and they're in uh, class together, and they work together. So that's about it. I forgot to add these things in the letter. Dad is getting a box ready to mail, and in it you will find this tape. And Nancy wanted us to be sure and tell you that um, all her playing on the piano was just all out of her head and played by ear. She had no music. It was a very impromptu thing, and we think that she did exceptionally well to have all that music in her head. She's quite a remarkable girl. So I guess we'll say goodbye, and um, we send love to Andrew and Elena and to you, and uh, we wish you well with God's help. So we'll see you, I hope, in October. Another footnote. Forgot to mention, the underwear is for you, Dennis. I didn't have anything for Elena. I don't know her size, so didn't send her any clothes or anything. But I'm sending a bag of candy for all of you. I hope you like it. The only place...